we know this virus is m transmitted more when someone is in close proximity over a longer period of time. And by nature of a salon and a barbershop, obviously that, that is a, you are sitting down for a longer period of time and folks are close together because you're working on, on someone's hair. N now, the issue is we, we want to have those activities return. And in phase two, we contemplate that returning of those activities. The issue is about risk, right? Is we wanted folks to first start with some of the lower risk activities, and then we would move forward to some of these higher risk activities. It was hard to say, oh, go forward with a, ba a barber shop or a salon, but not a restaurant. Those are you know, both sit down indoor activities. And we felt like going to all of those right at first might be too much for North Carolina. Again, I think going back to um, Brett's earlier question is that we still see a lot of virus here. And we want to be sure that we're not going to see a surge of cases. And we've been very successful preventing that for our state. And we want to keep doing that. And so that's why starting with the low, low risk activities was really our focus. And, and we are um, now less than two weeks away from uh, thinking about a, a move to phase two, um, where we contemplate opening uh, the salons and the barbershops. So hold on there. I know everyone wants a haircut, including me, um, but hold on um, a, a bit longer as we watch our trends. Um, please keep doing the three W's. I do think that we will get there when we pull together as a state we are in this together, right? All of our actions influence everything uh, that's going on. And I think if we can pull together as a state that we will we'll be back getting haircuts and at our favorite um, restaurant, but in a different way. We'll have to protect ourselves um, in, in different ways than, than we have before, but we will get back there.